Hi, this is Toby with HMC Electronics. We're going to be taking a look at the Weller WX1010 soldering station. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of the WX1 station, uh, let's actually talk about this, this new platform itself. So, so last year, Weller, actually two years ago, Weller came out with this uh, WX2 platform. Uh, which was the first iteration of this beautiful uh, capacitance touch screen. Uh, very much uh, a, a leap forward for Weller on the design of their platforms. It was a two-port model, and to be honest, two-port stations do sell. They don't sell awfully well. The single-port market uh, still captures probably 80% of our sales. So when Weller came out with this single-point unit, a uh, single-port unit, at the $500 price point, depending on your configurations, a little less, a little more, depending on the iron. Uh, we were very excited to see it. Uh, the unit itself puts out 200 watts of power, is capable of handling a great micro tweezer they have, that is 40 watts, a micro soldering pencil, a 65 watt soldering pencil, a 200 watt, absolutely uh, great, compact, heavy duty iron, and then this iron, which we'll be reviewing today, which is the WXP120, the 120 watt iron. Okay, let's uh, fire up the station. Actually, one thing before I do that, let me just, because we get people actually ask, these, these, these serial port plugs here, Weller makes it super simple. If you just line up your two arrows, and that's at your 12 o'clock spot, slot it in, and then turn that second to about two o'clock, it's locked in and super simple. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people fumble to get these pin arrays in. And it is, it is so simple. Just line up your arrow, right at 12 o'clock spot, line up the second one, 12 o'clock, locked in, good to go. And it's nice and snug. So let's fire up the iron. It comes with a couple of factory presets already. So you've got 662, uh, 716, it's heading to uh, 716 now. And this is a 120 watt iron, bear in mind. So this is an awful lot of power. And it's at your 716, and if I simply just want to uh, change temperature, it's just brilliant. You just touch it, click, and it's already obviously powering down. Um, I'm trying not to touch the tip here. Also, you've got this little blue ring, and this little blue ring indicator just tells you basically that the iron is on. Um, one of the nice things, I'm turning it off now just so I can kind of discuss about this. So one of the nice things is if you think about this being 120 watts of power, your tip to grip distance is still less than two inches. So if you think about some of the other stick irons that are out there, um, as far as the tip to grip distance and also the, the, the diameter of the shaft, it's, it's a very fine unit. Now, if I can take off this barrel assembly, you can see, so your XTD series tip resting directly on the heater element right here. Um, Weller is going back to etching the part numbers on the tips. I don't know why they got away from it, um, but for easy identification on uh, their newer tips, the actual part number of the tip is laser etched on the side. Uh, this iron itself is also a smart iron. If I set parameters for this iron on this station, and then I unplug this iron and plug it into another station, the parameters of the iron go with the iron. So there's no calibration and no reprogramming. And that's what these, these front ports here are for. You've got a USB port. You can actually use one station as a model for the presets, whether it is auto sleep or setback. Take out the USB card, stick it in another WX platform, download those, export those settings, and within a few minutes, every WX platform on your manufacturing floor would have the exact same parameters. Your workers would be working at the same temperature, the same auto sleep, all the other settings uh, that was set by your, your supervisor station. The WX1 series of stations have an awful lot of capabilities. If this video has left you with any questions, anything you'd like to review or ask of us, you can drop us an email or give us a call. Thanks for watching and happy soldering.